everyone. I'm Adam Brown, and this is Shell Point Today for Tuesday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. On today's show, Heather Batty will talk about the seriousness of having a fall and how you can prevent them in an upcoming Health Connections class. Fine Mark Bank will give us some tips on changing your mailing address if you're headed back up north this summer. And Heather Batty and Melanie Brode will provide us another fit tip. But first, we want to remind you of tomorrow's survivor's story that will be told at the Social Center. The causes, incidents, and results of war will be told through stories and song by Gary Vedito. His father was aboard the USS Susan B. Anthony during the D-Day invasion when the ship struck two mines and went down. Hear the harrowing story of courage, survival, and determination at the Social Center on the island at 2.15 p.m. Again, that's tomorrow. Did you know that falls are the leading cause of injury and death in the older population of this country? They are not a normal part of aging and can be prevented. Mark Tesoro of the Lee Memorial Health System talks with Heather Batty about a nationally recognized interactive program that addresses the many things we can do to prevent falls. Hi, I'm Heather Batty with Resort Services, and today I'm here with Mark Tesoro. He's going to present to you his program called Step Wisely. It's on May 7th, that's a Thursday, at 1015 in the Social Center. Step Wisely is a program dedicated to fall prevention, and I'm going to have Mark here talk a little bit about that. Thank you, Mark, for being here today. Thank you, Heather. It's always a pleasure to be here. Now, this name, Step Wise Lee, I think that's really catchy, and it's really interesting. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it's a program, you know, part of what I do is um, I work at the trauma center, and I look at all the numbers of people coming into the emergency rooms and the trauma centers in the area, and what we do is we look to see what's bringing people in, and falls is one of our leading causes of trauma injury and death, in fact. So what we decided to do is to develop a program um, that incorporated not only um, certain physicians' feedback, but also people, you know, general population feedback, um, ophthalmologists, all these different specialties, nurses, um, to get their feedback onto how to prevent falls. And that's what the, um, the result is, is this Step Wisely program. Okay. So in the program, I understand you probably talk about things like um, environmental factors. Right, right. Faults, you know, the funny thing is, is that people are concerned about faults, and, and it can be scary. And one of the reasons it's scary is because it's kind of overwhelming all the things that can cause a fall. But our main message is, is that falls are not a normal part of aging. Mm -hmm. If you are falling, you're falling for a reason. It's a symptom of something else going on. Um, and that there's three areas to really consider when you're thinking about falls. And that's why it kind of seems overwhelming. There's environmental world mm -hmm. things. There's physical things, and then there's behavioral things. Okay. And what we do during the talk is kind of try to um, identify those three different areas and how to improve those things. But if you tweak those things maybe a little bit, falls are preventable, and you can keep from falling. Um, so it's, it's a very effective program, and I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite programs to give. I think I really keyed in on, on one thing that you said is that, you know, that falls are preventable. Just because, you know, people start to age for some reason, they mm -hmm. think they're going to fall, Absolutely. and that's a normal part of aging. But I want you to say again that what yeah, you said faults, before. Faults are not a normal part of aging. If you're falling, you're falling for a reason, mm -hmm. and they need to identify what that reason is. Um, so just because somebody tells you, and this could be even physicians too. We tell physicians all the time not to say this to their patients, but just because you're turning 60, 70, 80 does not mean that you're going to fall. It's not part of growing old. It's not, it's not a normal part of aging. So don't let somebody tell you, oh, you're growing older, you're going to fall. It's part of growing old, mm -hmm. um, because that's just simply not the case. If you're falling, you need to figure out what that symptom is. Now, like we said, there's the behavioral part. Now, maybe you're using a box as a step stool, or maybe you're over um, overconfident in your abilities, or you're not using a walker when you should be using a walker. So that's the behavioral tweaks you can do. And then you have environmental things, all the things in the home that can cause a fall, or those bumpers in the parking lot sure. that people trip over. So sure. there's environmental things to concern yourself about with too. And then there's a physical aspect where you have certain physical conditions that predispose you to falls more frequently than other people. Absolutely. So blood pressure issues and those kind of things. But you may need to tweak one or multiple areas of those um, three different areas. But certainly if you tweak those areas, you can really drastically reduce the, the prevalence of falls. 
Mark, I think that's great, and I, I really think this is a great program, and I can't stress enough how Mark has said that falling is preventable. So if you're interested, please make sure you come to Step Wisely, which is saving lives through fall prevention. Again, it's Thursday, May 7th at 1015 in the Social Center. Thank you, and have a great day. Are you headed back up north for the summer? Have you made all the necessary arrangements for routing your mail? What about banking? Anna Smith of Finemark Bank is here to offer some helpful tips before you vacate your Shell Point residence for the summer. Hello, I'm Anna Smith, Managing Executive at Finemark National Bank and Trust on the island. In today's Finemark Minute, we're talking about changing your mailing address if you are heading north for the summer. It's always a good idea to notify your financial institution before you leave. You want to make sure your banker has your current contact information, like your home phone number and your northern address. At Finemark, to ensure your private information stays private, we do not forward bank statements. So it is very important that you call us before you leave. If you don't notify us, your statements will likely be returned to the bank. If you don't want to worry about a paper statement and where it is being mailed, online banking is always an option. You can look at your statements anytime from anywhere and you will always have access to your accounts. You should also notify your mail carrier at both your Florida address and your northern address. You may also want to change your address with the post office so you receive your mail properly. If you need some assistance, you can call the post office at 1-800-ASK-USPS or you can go online at usps.com. That's usps.com. If you have any questions, you can stop by Finemark on the island or give us a call at 461-5999. We will help you prepare for your trip north. With today's Finemark Minute, I'm Anna Smith. And now it's time for another fit tip from Heather Batty and Melanie Broad. Hi, I'm Heather Batty. And I'm Melanie Broad with today's fit tip. Today we're going to work on a little bit of balance. We're in the beautiful part. Heather found this nice root and we're going to do a little bit of lower body strengthening and we're going to add some balance to it. So Heather is going to rise up onto the balls of her feet not her toes, she has the whole forefoot. This right here is a workout in herself. So once you master this, you can go ahead and try to let go with one arm. Good, hold all back on. How about the other arm? Good, hold on. Can you let go of both? Both arms, nice. That's a challenge. Bring it on back. Good, so if you do that several times, alternating one arm, the other, and both, do that during the commercials of Wheel of Fortune, your, your balance will increase. Excellent. That's a great fit tip. It is a great fit tip. Thank you. Have a great day. Now it's time to cover all today's happenings, academy news, menus, and Village Church connections. Hello and welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Caitlin Vanskoy and I'm here with Bev Chanley and we're going to let you know everything that's happening Tuesday, May 5th. We start bright and early at 7.15 with the Health Connections class, Bend, Breathe, and Balance in the Health Club. We have Pickleball being played at the Pickleball Courts at 8 o'clock. And also at 8, we have Round Robin Doubles Tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. Stamp Ministry will be meeting down in the Stamp Room in the Island Tunnel at 8.15. And Bocce will be played at the Bocce Courts at the Woodlands at 8.30. Also at 8.30, the Ladies Golf Association will be meeting at the Shell Point Golf Club. And at 9.15, we have the Caregiver Support Group Therapy meeting in the conference room of the Medical Center, and you do need to sign up for that. At 9.15, we have the Memory Care Group meeting in the conference room of Behavioral Health, and you do need to sign up for that. Open painting is available in the art studio at 9.15, and our last 9.15 activity is Shuffleboard at the Shuffleboard Courts. Match Play Mixed Doubles Tennis will be at the Woodlands Tennis Course at 9.30. And at 10 o'clock, the Susie Q heads out to Woody's Waterfront Restaurant, and you do need to sign up for that at the Island Greeters desk. From 10 to 12 today, the photo gallery and studio will be open for viewing. 
At 1015, through the Bible, Bible Study Group will gather in the Osprey Room. The Caregiver Support Group Therapy will be at 1030 in the Conference Room of the Medical Center. You do need to sign up. At 1030, we have Memory Care, meeting in the Conference Room of Behavioral Health, and you do need to sign up for that. And our last morning activity is Living Healthy at 1145 in the Osprey Room. Here's Bev to tell you all about our afternoon. Thank you, Caitlin. At 12.30, Mixed Progressive Bridge will be played in the Woodlands Game Room. At 1 o'clock, we have a Health Connections class, Fitness Room Orientation. That's down in the Health Club on the island. You do need to sign up for that. The Knitters Group will be in the Osprey Room at 1.15. The Rollicking Recorderists will be in the Tarpon Room at 1.15. And also at 1.15, we have the Women's Ministries Prayer Group in the Manatee Room on the island. We're going to jump to 1.30 for another Health Connections class, Aqua Pilates Stretch in the LifeQuest Aquatic Center. And the Stamp Ministry will be in the Sable Room of the Woodlands at 1.30. From 2 to 4, the Photo Gallery and Studio will be open for viewing. And then we go into another Health Connections class. 2.45, we have Balance and Mobility Training Level 2 in the Health Club. At 3.15, the Celebration Ringers Rehearsal will be in the Choir Room of the Village Church. And then 4.15 is a Health Connections class, Tai Chi Cha. That's in the Health Club, and that's currently full. Our last activity is 6.45 with the Hymn Sing, and that's at the Resident Activity Center. Well, thank you for being here with us today, and we will be back here with you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Terry Koleth with your Academy Information for Tuesday. At 9.30, writing your memoirs on a computer begins in the Computer Center at the Woodlands. Sign up is required. At 9.45, Understanding Your Computer begins in the Technology Teaching Center on the island. Sign up is required. And at 10 o'clock, Phone Photography Workshop will take place in the Sable Room of the Woodlands for those who have signed up. At 10 o'clock, we have The Secrets of Stonehenge in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands, and you can sign up right at the door. At 10.15, Apple iPad or iPhone Walk-In Clinic takes place in the Manatee Room on the island. And at 1 o'clock, which technology is right for me will take place in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. I'd like to tell you about new classes coming tomorrow. June Lockhart of Harbor Court will teach paper sculpture. Karen Hubbard of Lakewood will teach experiencing colored pencil painting. Richard Nelson of Lakewood will offer a basics prep school for the computer. I'd like to share with you some information about the Pavilion Auxiliary. Please take a look at the last page of the weekly reminder to see when our next orientation is. And please give me a call if you're interested in helping out for the summer on a variety of committees. I'll share that with you. Menus for Tuesday. In the Crystal Room, the Crystal Platter is chicken piccata with buttered pasta and a vegetable medley. The dinner special is build your own stir fry for $13.95, and the soup of the day is lima bean. In the Island Cafe for lunch, the special is a patty melt with grilled onions and onion rings for $7.25. The dinner special is roast pork with mashed potatoes and mixed vegetables for $8.25. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill on Tuesday are barbecue shrimp for $15.95 or snapper for $17.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm David Pavey, an assistant pastor. On Saturday, April 25th, 2015, an earthquake of magnitude 7.8 hit near Kathmandu in Nepal, the little Himalayan country sandwiched between India and China. The quake was strong enough to be felt across parts of India, Bangladesh, Tibet, and Pakistan. It flattened homes, buildings, and temples, causing widespread damage across the region and killing more than 5,000 people. Whole streets and squares in the capital of more than one million people were covered in rubble. Many of the rural areas were hit as well, destroying 80% of the houses. Locals and tourists joined soldiers and police ferreting through mounds of debris in search of survivors. 
The injured ended up being treated in the open air outside overflowing hospitals, where crowds of people gathered looking for relatives. Tens of thousands of Nepalese spent the following night outside under chilly skies or in cars and public buses, only to be jolted awake in the morning by strong aftershocks, causing more panic and more fear. Terrified people screamed and sobbed in their anguish. Still more people were killed on nearby Mount Everest, where the quake caused multiple avalanches that thundered down the mountain. The historic 200-foot-tall Daharara Tower came crashing down during the quake, its nine stories reduced to a jagged stump. About 180 bodies of tourists who had been seeking a panoramic view of the Kathmandu Valley were pulled from the rubble. In this country, we've had our own drama with falling towers, of course, when thousands more were suddenly plunged prematurely into eternity, ready or not. In the Bible, Jesus himself refers to the tragedy of a fallen tower, the Tower of Siloam, built into the southeast section of Jerusalem's wall. When it collapsed, it killed 18 people. Commenting on this event, Jesus implies that the victims did nothing wrong, nothing that caused their demise. They were not more sinful than others. He instructs us not to equate tragedy with divine punishment. Sin does not necessarily make atrocities come. They just come. Life is short and unpredictable. Rather, in the biblical passage, Jesus turns the attention away from disasters, victims, and why did this happen questions, to address those of us who so far have survived the hazards of life. We should not mistake our good fortune for evidence of God's special blessing. No, instead of an explanation, Jesus warned his audience, unless you repent, you will all perish. In other words, turn from a secular lifestyle, get connected with God, and give him his rightful place in your thinking and behavior. To fail to do so carries serious consequences. He emphasizes the suddenness with which death comes. Just as the tower's victims did not enjoy the luxury of choosing the time of their demise, likewise, those who fail to make peace with God may suddenly find they have delayed too long. Jesus does not promise us freedom from calamity, but he urges us against a false sense of security. Life is fragile. But God has provided an opportunity for us to have a change of heart and to be in a right relationship with him, seizing God's free gift of grace. Those who died did not think they would die so soon, but they did. And we can assume that many of them were not ready. The message is clear. Make peace with God, believe, Choose eternal life while you still can. You don't know when your window of opportunity will close. And remember this, the opportunity of a lifetime must be taken during the lifetime of the opportunity. And thank you for tuning in to Village Church Connections. Thanks for joining us on today's program. Come back tomorrow when we will check out the Model Yacht Sailing Club and learn why sailing these little watercraft is so much fun. Robin Church in the Island Salon will tell us about some special offers just in time for Mother's Day. And golf instructor Gary Keating will help us to improve our swing. Until then, this is Adam Brown for Shell Point TV for Tuesday, May 5th. On behalf of the entire SPTV staff, we hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again tomorrow.